this is my friend's uh, Mark 18 that I worked on for him. Uh, I'll go over the externals first. Uh, base is a Crytac. Um, Crytac Mark II lower, I believe a Crytac Mark I upper, or it could be a VFC upper, I'm not for sure. Umbrella uh, Corporation Motor Grip, um, Crytac stock, painted. Um, a Mad Bull licensed Mark 18 rail, I'm not for sure really. Uh, Magpul foregrip, Magpul rail covers along with a hand stop, uh, rubberized textured rail guards, I can't remember what they're called. A PTS uh, compensator, uh, his barrel is kind of held up with a zip tie through the rail system. Uh, Magpul sling mount plate, I, I, I don't know what the name is. Magpul Embus um, for front and rear, Lancer Tactical uh, Micro T1. Internally, uh, internally the barrel is a Promi 603, um, but I did have to take it out, um, so this is it. I did take it out and put in a stock uh, combat machine barrel because it was firing uh, too high of FPS. Bucking is a Crytac bucking. Um, hop up is a Pro Win. Gearbox shell Crytac. Um, motor Crytac. Uh, trigger is a Mark II Crytac. Um, the gearbox shell and uh, some of the internals are from a uh, Umbrella Armory Crytac, um, but it was before. Umbrella started to make uh, Crytax and sell them, so it was actually a customer had a Crytax and sent it in to them to be upgraded. Uh, so, in right now, my friend is, I believe, the fourth owner of this, or yeah, fourth or fifth possibly. So it has a BTC, I believe, Mark One, but it could be a Mark Two. I tried the Bluetooth, didn't really work, so I'm not for sure. It's not the non-Bluetooth Mark Two. Since those just, I think, released. Um, uh, stock, sector gear, and spur gear. Sector gear has one tooth. is short stroked by one tooth, I believe, from Umbrella. Bevel gear is, I believe, a ZCI nine tooth bevel gear that has been modified. Uh, cylinder head is, I believe, a ZCI uh, full metal double O-ring cylinder. Uh, SHS O-ring air nozzle, SHS piston, that's, uh, was it, the 14-tooth pre-Swiss cheesed one. Um, spring, I believe, is an M130 or so. Uh, and I believe that is it for internally. Uh, I did, so I did change the barrel, and then also the... BTC, the full auto uh, micro switch, the selector plate wasn't activating it, so I modified the selector plate, so now full auto works. Um, I also cleaned it and then re-lubed it. I also noticed that there was a little bit of plastic, or a small amount of plastic from the SHS piston that kind of like broke off somehow, so uh, I... I glued in the piston rack without taking the piston head off um, as best I could since from the looks of it, it did not look like it was glued down and just to give the piston more life. Um, and that's about it. Uh, it's shooting about 390 or 380, 390, 400-ish um, with the combat machine barrel. With the Promi barrel, it was shooting four. 20 to 430 or so. Um, sometimes it does have a dip where it's shooting like 290 FPS, but I can't tell if that's my BBs um, or if it actually, since I have like a mixed weight, I I thought I had 0.2s, but it could have been 0.28s or 0.25s, which would roughly be close to um, what it should be shooting. Um, cylinder is also stock, and yeah.
Uh, one thing that I did forget to mention is that I did uh, shorten the trigger pull a teeny bit. I added a teeny bit of material to activate the uh, micro switch a little bit sooner. And then I also uh, put more uh, material on the back so there's less chance of it over traveling and pushing and putting pressure on the um, BTC board. A uh, battery that I will be testing it is a 11-1-2250-45C 11-1. Uh, it's about, I believe, 20% charged about, so it doesn't have a lot of battery life left, uh, but it should be good enough to test. Safe. Semi. about it it is slightly screechy um i believe the motor shimming um, or motor height and then possibly shimming of the bevel could be slightly better but i i'm not i didn't do anything to it uh when he handed it to me and i thought well it's working now and there wasn't a lot of excess wear so i say just use it how it is um and yeah looks like a fun gun and he will be happy with it